Hello, hello friends. This is Becky with Becky Budgets. I just wanted to go ahead and do our paycheck update for week two of October. I do apologize as I did not film the week one. I literally just rewrote all of the information that I had on my mock budget on this sheet prior to filming this video for ease um, because it didn't make any sense to go backwards when I already know what the paycheck is. I do apologize. This was a very difficult week for me. <clears throat> I don't know if it has to do with the change in temperature or just things going on at work. We've got updates and stuff like that. And so I spent the week coming home exhausted and going to sleep rather early and uh, sleeping a lot. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. So my husband's paycheck came in for $652. And 45 cents. And that was the only income that we expected. So that means that our inflow was six fix six fifty two forty five. Audible came in for fifteen dollars and nineteen cents. I am on a bi monthly subscription, so <clears throat> It didn't come out in September, but it comes out in October. And then T-Mobile is at a set 100, which means that our total bills for this week came in for 115.19. And when I take that away from our inflow, let's catch up here. We are left with $537.26. Which is always good when it's a little higher than what I budgeted. Moving down to our variable expenses. <clears throat> food is going to go ahead and get its weekly $100. I will be honest. I did not even order groceries on Thursday for Friday we are running on no groceries right now so i'm gonna need to set some time out today to place a grocery order but we still have that money in the bank to go ahead and pay that off gas is going to go ahead and get a hundred dollars we're going to go ahead and skip pets this week and then hubby me eating out and miscellaneous have already been filled which means that our variable expenses will equal $200. And when I take 200 away from that leftover, it's gonna leave us with 337.26. Moving over to our sinking funds. I am gonna go ahead and fill them. So medical is gonna go ahead and get 50. That household car maintenance and gifts will get $15. And then vacation, Amazon, car registration, and emergency will get $5 each. Those equal $130. So when I take that away from the leftover, it leaves us with $207.26. And I'm just moving that value down. As always, I do like to do these two sections out of order. So I'm going to go ahead and take the 2650 that we need for our 52 number two, which goes towards moving. And this tells me that 76 cents are going into the buffer. <clears throat> and we're going to have 180 go into our preset. So we do have a preset for that Southwest Chase bait, uh, card that we're no longer paying on, and that is $163. When we take 163, I can see that 17 are going into the snowball. As I've mentioned before, what we have been doing is putting $355 into our city medical debt in order to ensure that we're gonna pay that off within 
the time allotted with the zero interest and anything over 355 is going towards our Chase Slate card. So I'll have to do that math and then at the end of the month, you'll see how that all breaks down. Let's go ahead and add these values. Our extra debt total came in for $180. When we take 180 away from the 107.26, we end up with 27.26. And that should equal what we have in extra savings in order to get us a zero base budget. But we will check that right now. So when I take 26.50 away, it leaves us with the 76 cents we need for a zero base budget. As always, my friends, I do like to check my math. So we have an inflow total of 652.45 minus a bill total of 115.19 minus 200 going towards our variable expenses, 130 going towards our sinking funds, 180 going towards our extra debt, and 27.26, 27.26 going into our extra savings, which got us to our beautiful zero base budget. Well, friends, I'm going to take this information onto the, and I wonder if it's here. It is not. Onto the cash envelope breakdown for this week. And I'm going to run to the bank to get our cash so that we can go ahead and fill our envelopes. It's a guesstimate that we're probably going to put about $230 into envelopes. So stay tuned for that. As always, thank you for taking time out of your day to watch my content. I hope each and every one of you has an amazing weekend. Take care, my friends. <laughs> Bye.